I'm Luke from The Standard. Just want to tell you a couple things. We have a Christmas party coming up on the 23rd of December, uh, 8 p.m. That is Christmas Eve Eve. First of all, we are having an ugly tie, ugly sweater costume party, or not costume party, but competition. If you don't want to wear an ugly tie, wear an ugly sweater. If you don't want to wear an ugly sweater, wear an ugly tie. The only thing that we ask for you not to do is not to wear any of those affliction shirts with the beads or the bedazzled jeans or anything else that everybody on the East Coast likes to wear, don't wear that. No, you know, I know faux hawks is a thing, and I'm not trying to hate because I don't have hair. But literally, not everybody has to do a faux hawk. It's not like you have to do it. You could do different things. One can, I'm just saying. The contest for that is, by the way, it's $25 gift certificate. If you do win the ugly tie or, or ugly sweater, it's a $25 gift certificate. But that is a Christmas party. We also have a martini that we're doing. I'm going to actually make for you right now. And it is our chocolate mint martini. We're going to do a creme de mint, a chocolate vodka, which will be three olives. We are going to do a little bit of half and half cream and a little bit of whipped cream as well. And for our garnish, we are going to chocolate the glass and we're going to put some chocolate powder on top. We're going to get our tin here, fill it with ice. So for this one, we're for the chocolate vodka, like again, we're going to go uh, three olives. And I'm going to go a four to a five count. One, two, three, four. There we go. And with the creme de mint, like I said, because it's overpowering and pungent, we're just going to put a simple quick two count in. One, two. Now, with our cream, for the half and half cream, I'm going to use that because it's going to thicken it up and it's going to provide that texture that I want. Now I'm going to use the whipped cream because it's a little sweeter and because when I shake this all together, that whipped cream is going to thicken and make a nice little froth on top. Now that froth is going to allow you to put like our chocolate powder on. Um, if you want to use green sprinkles for like a Christmassy, minty look, you can use that. So we're going to put a little bit of cream, probably, I don't know, at home, it goes by tablespoons here. I'd probably say probably a quarter of a cup in. All right, and then with our whipped cream, you're just gonna put kind of like a dollop, just a little bit. You just want it to thicken it up. Give it a good shake. There we go. Now with this, you really wanna shake it really, really good. You wanna get it really cold. Rule of thumb, like I've said in all the martinis, or all my other martinis, excuse me, uh, if you feel the ice follicles forming and coming out of the tin, you're doing a good job. You're making it cold enough. You know, my ice is coming through my tin. Now, we're going to chocolate our glass, put a chocolate lining on it. So here we go, we're gonna start from the top and we're going to work our way down to the bottom. We are going to strain what we have in our tin. You see it's that nice, beautiful, minty uh, color. And last but not least, our chocolate powder at the top to give it a nice little chocolate presence. And voila, you have yourself a mint chocolate chip martini. Enjoy. Christmas. Merry Christmas. All the details are here. Boom. No affliction shirts. No, hey, I have the most beats. Therefore, I am the coolest guy in the world. Pushing you out of the parade. Or you can do the elevator.